Well, your reaction to, today, to today's events? Well, I don't think that Dominic Raab needed to resign. I don't think the report found he'd done anything improper. And the issue um, in relation to the Foreign Office that seems to have been the real cause of his resignation is one where civil servants were behaving badly in relation uh, to Gibraltar. And you would have thought any minister would be annoyed when civil servants failed to carry out the policy of the elected government. And I'm afraid this is a terrible shift in power away from those who are democratically elected, democratically appointed, to those who aren't, to the civil service, to the bureaucracy. It's a great mistake that Dominic Raab has been forced out. Now, Dominic Raab suggested that there may be activists within the civil service targeting ministers who they are ideologically opposed to. Have you seen that? Well, I think if you look at the report, it's quite clear that a group within uh, the Justice Ministry did get together uh, to decide that they would say how awful Dominic Raab had been, that that was quite clearly something that had a number of conversations behind it. They weren't spontaneous complaints, uh, and this seems to me to be disreputable and something that um, should have been dismissed much more uh, harshly by the investigator than it was. Um, I, I found a mix with civil servants. I, I found that some who were very good and very hardworking uh, and others who didn't share the ambition of the government. Now, this isn't the first Conservative minister that's been accused of bullying. Of course, Priti Patel was as well, Alok Sharma, by civil servants. Do you think there's a trend emerging? Uh, or do you think Conservative ministers are particularly aggressive in their roles? Well, I don't think they are, no. Um, certainly nobody ever accused me of being aggressive. But these are high-pressure roles, and people working for the Deputy Prime Minister aren't on the teddy bear's picnic. They must expect it to be a tough and robust working environment. I think it's absolutely ridiculous to think uh, that, that it's going to be um, anything other than that when you're running the country and decisions have to be made very rapidly and high standards are expected. Uh, that, that um, Dominic Raab sometimes said that work wasn't good enough. Now, you must be entitled to say that as a minister. Uh, and there was a lot of fuss about him saying that civil servants should pay attention to the, minister, uh, to the civil service code. Now, whether he said that or not is a matter of dispute. But actually, it seems to me a perfectly reasonable thing to say, particularly when in this specific instance over Gibraltar, it looks as if the civil service were ignoring the democratically elected government's policy, which, of course, under the Civil Service Code, they're not allowed to do. So I, I, I think you need to have people with a bit of backbone working in the government, and this snowflakery is damaging for democracy. And do you think this whole saga may have consequences for that? Will um, talented, ambitious and um, ministers or potential ministers, strong worth ethic and high standards, be put off from entering cabinet, perhaps? No, I wouldn't say that. What I think is more insidious is that ministers will be less willing to follow robust policies because they will be worried that civil servants will complain if the minister pushes for a particular policy or rejects a piece of work that is not good enough. And inevitably, some pieces of work are not good enough and need to be uh, revised. Uh, and I'm all in favour of good manners. I think politeness is very important and it oils the wheels of so many things. Nonetheless, the government of the country has to be carried on and carried on effectively. Sometimes these are in high-pressured situations and there isn't necessarily the time uh, to say all the pleases and thank yous that you might say at a maiden aunt's dinner party. Just very lastly, Jacob, why do you think Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, has not stood by Dominic Raab if what you say is true, that the threshold for bullying was too low and that Dominic Raab has not done anything explicitly wrong in his conduct? Why has Rishi Sunak um, allowed him to resign, forced him to resign? Well, you'll have to ask um, the Prime Minister's spokesman why, but I think it's a mistake. I think it makes forming governments harder, that the government of the country must be appointed by the King's First Minister. That is the Prime Minister who has the mandate from the House of Commons to decide who ministers should be. It shouldn't be farmed out to unelected officials, to panjandrums, and to the moaning minis in some civil service uh, outlets.